to the breakdown. Canelo Alvarez versus Caleb Plant. The war is looming close. The competition for the best at the super middleweight scale to be solidified and be called undisputed is set as the two best at the weight class face off in an intense anticipated match. Both counterparts unease towards each other and the dislike has hit the ultimate peak in recent weeks. Going from back to back verbal assaults to an escalating physical assault has made a certified stamp in the bad blood between the two. Fire should rise up at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Plant, still undefeated, plans on to shock the world with his speed and skills. Canelo, the seasoned veteran, seeks for his respect and looks to punish Caleb in an astonishing fashion. Welcome everyone, I am your host, Nice, and this is The Fight Room. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you do. For the latest boxing news feedback and entertainment, now the anticipated matchup between Canelo Alvarez and Caleb Plant is soon approaching for the 168 pound undisputed middleweight supremacy. November 6, live on Showtime pay-per-view from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Now we all know Alvarez holds the WBA, WBC and WBO super middleweight titles while Plant holds the IBF super middleweight title. The war is at hand just in a few weeks, ladies and gentlemen, to see who will be crowned king in the division. Canelo on a seven fight winning streak since his draw, September 2017 to Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. Since then, Alvarez has won championship titles at the middleweight, 160 pound, super middleweight right now at the present time and in light heavyweight division. In his last bout, you know, he made an example of Billy Joe Saunders, a slick southpaw boxer, to win his most recent title, the WBO belt. Now he's facing Caleb Plant for the undisputed championship. Plant won the title defeating Jose Huskatagi to win the title. His best win thus far in his career, ladies and gentlemen, we know that. You know, Huskatagi was a hard puncher, a proven warrior you know beat anthony durrell viciously twice and you know he had a good name and a good resume and caleb plant came away with a win now in that fight we know you know in the last two or three rounds he seemed very vulnerable but we get to that in a second so now let me get to the controversy for the quality of oppositions he has faced defending his title you know mike lee Vincent Fergenbutz and Caleb Truax really not the top level competition we all wanted to see Caleb Plant defend his title against but hey he did what he had to do he faced these guys and now he is on the verge to show his skills against not only a quality season fighter but perhaps the number one pound for pound fighter in the world Canelo now referring to Plant's opposition in defense of his title in that aspect, definitely lack of quality competition, but besides the fact, he did display somewhat power in which he has been criticized for as well before. Hasn't mastered the closeout craft if he has a fighter stunned or hurt. You know, we all know that we've seen this before, you know, cannot stop a fighter. But in his last bout, in his last matchups, he happens to prove some people wrong. Now, was it real power or just lack of opposition? That's a question we don't know. We know lack of power. He was always unable to finish a hurt fighter, in my opinion, and to the opinion of most. And as well, one of my opinions is that he is one of the best skillful fighters I've seen in a while, and he is one of the top for sure. Now, Andre Ward decided to pay a visit to Plant and help him in his camp. I am pretty sure he has a mental strategy and preparation for Plant to carry him in towards this matchup. Now can Ward implement some type of game plan for Plant or is Ward actually implementing the game plan for Plant ahead of this matchup? It's a good question ladies and gentlemen because we know you know Andre Ward a retired undefeated was number one pound for pound in the game when he retired has a very high ring IQ, has been watching Canelo and Caleb's career for quite a while, we should know that. 
because you know he's an SPN top ranked boxing analyst for the game. Clearly very educational when it comes to this here boxing. So another question, will he appear in the corner with Caleb? That would be surprising, wouldn't it? Imagine Andre Ward walking with Caleb Plant in preparation for this bout and looking at Canelo eye to eye before the matchup. That would be very intriguing. But let's see what happens in that aspect. Now, now Canelo, we know he has been doing exceptionally brilliant in the last two or three years. Seven fight winning streak. The guy has been doing exceptionally well. He's well seasoned, well prepped and has a lot, a lot of experience in the ring thus far, has gotten better and better every time. You know, I have to emphasize this fact. Canelo has been a different fighter ever since the rematch with Gennady Golovkin. You know, he had to prove himself in that match. And that, to me, that fight to me was the match that made Canelo, who Canelo is now. Now, reason being, because the first fight, like most people say and boxing spectators say that he was running away and Golovkin himself and Abel Sanchez was backing that up and saying that as well throwing that at Canelo's face so Canelo had to prove them wrong and you know came up with a different strategy a much better strategy in the rematch and came away with the victory and he did awesome in that fight went straight ahead at Triple G and I think it built his confidence overall that he can overcome and do anything. So to me, ladies and gentlemen, that was the match that really made Canelo. Now we can all agree, I'm pretty sure everybody agrees. What I mean is that the heart and will, it was for sure now. Now it's for sure. He was well determined to keep and seek for greatness and now he is here ladies and gentlemen 168 pound division trying to be the undisputed champion a guy that came to the 147 pound moved up 154 came up to 160 175 came down 168 conquering divisions time and time again much respect to canelo for having the heart and will and determination to seek greatness and that's for sure you can't take that away from the proven champ Canelo that only has one defeat to perhaps the greatest boxer in history and many could disagree with that I used to dislike Mayweather but I believe that you know Mayweather is the superior boxer of this generation or was rather and you gotta respect that now we move to the fight stats Canelo Alvarez 56 wins one defeat two draws 38 knockouts 31 years of age five feet eight 174 he walks around in mainly his reach is 70.5 orthodox fighter wbc wba wbo the ring magazine champion caleb plant 21 wins undefeated with 12 knockouts 29 years old six feet one definitely definitely bigger than canelo 184 to about 190 he walks around average 74 reach in length the orthodox fighter has the ibf title we know that and the war shall be on the fundamentals of caleb plant fast hands that's why they call him sweet hands the guy has one of the quickest hands in the game right now Good combination puncher, a high ring IQ as well, sharp, crisp, established jab, great body work inside and in mid-range position. You know, he has excellent footwork, knows how to pivot, knows how to dodge, knows how to use that ring. Good setting up his offense, a very, very slick fighter, knows how to use his defense. Trademark shot, man, he has a lunging short left hook. Folks, trademark shot, once again, the lunging short quick left hook gets everyone most times so Conte's skill set you know lack of power once again he kind of gasses out late in the fight and he's unable to finish a hurt opponent now the fundamentals for Canelo we know a good orthodox fighter 
good power, good combination puncher, high ring IQ as well, a good jab, well using the ring, good timing on setting up his offense, and he's a very patient fighter, folks. Trademark shot, straight right hand, has impeccable power for sure, has knocked out most of his oppositions with that hand. He also has a good body shot, but his, you know, overall trademark shot is definitely that right hand. So, you know, his con, you know, often, you know, can stand flat footed for a while. So then he has to readjust and get back to make his move. Chess match, man, I'm telling you, this is going to be a chess match. Very, very high Q type of caliber fight, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be good. Believe it or not, going to be good. Now people might say it's not 50-50 and people think that, you know, we're crazy because I understand the lack of power that Plant has and he does gas out late. But he has very good skills and he can impute that very well and could adjust. And he has Andre Ward now, folks. Andre Ward. He's going to make sure he implements everything in his tool to overcome Canelo. Now the icing on the cake for this match is the dislike and the backlash between the two fighters. You know, lately Caleb Plant has been coming at Canelo and, you know, telling him that he's a bitch or whatnot and saying that he's a cheater. And he has gotten Canelo quite, quite hot. And lately Canelo's been, you know, showing his true colors if you want to say that you know he has a kind of an attitude and it's true we've seen it a couple of times he called Demetrius Andre motherfucker right but now that they call him that you know he gets upset pretty hypocritical in my opinion so don't do it then don't don't call nobody what you wouldn't want to be called but hey this is boxing you got to understand that Canelo you being in the sport for so long should know this. Why all the anger? Why get upset? What got you really upset? What was it? Was it that he called you that or was it because of the the assault given by Plant on him taking the clombuterol and being a cheater? I think that's what it was. So with that being said, it's a hot match. It's more anticipated now than it was before. You know, these guys really don't like each other for sure. At the press conference, Plant got cut. Nobody knows if it was the glasses or if it was uh, Canelo, you know, left little uh, uppercut there. We don't know. Plant knows. He truly knows. Canelo knows. So the war is on. Ladies and gentlemen, this should be a good fight. My opinion. My prediction. A war. A chess match war. Somebody's getting knocked out that night. Ladies and gentlemen, believe it, believe it, believe it. Now we know Canelo is the harder, the harder puncher. Caleb Plant is bigger, more natural. Will he have that power to stop Canelo? Could it be possible? Could it be possible that Canelo will knock him out? You already know the answer to that. He had knocked out a 175 pound light heavyweight. But can Plant shock the world? Can he really outbox and outclass Canelo? We shall see, ladies and gentlemen, live November 6th at the MGM Grand Garden Arena at Las Vegas. Showtime pay-per-view. Y'all already know. I am your host, Nice. Like the video. Comment. Subscribe to the channel. Donate if you would love to donate. I would appreciate any donation for your love and support. Most of all, don't forget to share the fight room.